Storm Team Weather. Here's Chief Meteorologist Josh Johns. Well, good Friday evening and welcome back to KCN. As you go out to the stock show tonight, expect some cold temperatures. It's going to be in the 30s all the way through the night. In fact, dropping down to the 20s by 10 or 11 o'clock. A few stray sleet showers will be possible early in the evening, but nothing is going to cause any issues. On the time lapse today, I have plenty of clouds out there. Some of those uh, showers fell asleep, even some snow here in the Concho Valley. A lot of you called in with the reports. A lot of it, though, really dried out before it got to the ground. That's why we didn't really get a blanket of snow or anything like that, but it has been chilly all day. Our high was actually overnight when we were sitting close to the low 30s, and then we've been in the low 30s and upper 20s all day today. It's been a raw day, and it's going to be a chilly night. Now, we will have some clear skies work in later on tonight before the clouds come back, and that means our temperatures are going to drop, and then the clouds are going to keep temperatures cold tomorrow. Another rain chance is coming in, then we're warming up before a few more fronts next week. Here's a look at the live winter vision radar currently. We still have a few pockets of these sleet showers out there, uh, mainly off in our southeastern counties, but as close as El Dorado down towards Sonora as well. The heavier activity now moving through Runnels County, also down into Concho County. Some of that heavier activity had a pretty good band earlier near Eden, now a pretty good band uh, near Brady and also near Menard. And then over here to the south of San Angelo towards El Dorado, a little bit more development of some of these sleet showers. So you can't really rule it out through the next three hours or so that any sort of travel concerns are going to be towards the hill country where that winter weather advisory was in effect. Now the only winter weather advisory in effect is from Waco over towards Shreveport. All of this activity still got to move over there tomorrow and they've already got reports of a quarter of an inch of sleet on roadways. So if you're driving that way tonight, keep in mind some of those roads could be a little on the rough side. The reason the sleet and snow didn't cause any issues here is because it was just so darn dry in the atmosphere. Dew points in the uh, teens and that means any sort of moisture with that was pretty much zapped. It's cold too across the entire state. 30 degrees right now in Waco. It's 32 here in San Angelo. Across the Concha Valley dealing with those 20s and 30s. 32 currently in Sterling City. 29 in Fort McCabot. 32 in San Angelo and 35 in Ballinger. The winds have been out of the east at about 5 to 10 miles per hour and that just makes it feel colder. We're talking about feel like temperatures in the 20s not only here in the Concha Valley but across the entire state and it's feeling like it's in the low 20s outside. So you want that coat if you're heading out anywhere tonight and uh, otherwise going to be a cold night on the way. You can see the snow that is working over East Texas right now. That's going to be pulling into Arkansas and uh, Louisiana. High pressure settling in eventually clears out some of that snow, but all the moisture still sitting here over the Pacific is going to ride up over the stationary front there. We've got a dry pocket before it. That's when our skies will clear briefly, and then the clouds will be back as we head into the day tomorrow. That means it's going to be a chilly day tomorrow. Let's take through time on Futurecast, kind of show you how that plays out. The potential for sleep, maybe even some snow showers, kind of goes away by around 8 o'clock. Although temperatures do stay cold through the night, we're going to see them go down into the 20s. I don't think Futurecast is grabbing the dry air as good as it should. I think we're closer to the mid-20s by the time you wake up in the morning. The clouds work in, and that means your temperatures stay in the 40s all day. And I think Futurecast warming this up too much. I've got a high of only around 40 degrees, and it's going to be cold most of the day on Saturday. Sunday, with the southerly winds behind it, though, we're going to bring in some slightly warmer air, upper 40s and lower 50s there on Sunday, and then eventually a little bit of a rain chance there on Sunday as well. Not a big one, but still a little bit of a rain chance. Tonight, temperatures falling down into the 20s. I've got a low of 25 here in San Angelo, 23 in Sterling City, 27 in Brady under partly cloudy skies, nowhere near the record. Record was six in 1933. Take a look at that seven day forecast because we're going to see those temperatures slowly warm up. 40 degrees Saturday, a 20% chance of rain Saturday night into Sunday, 20% chance on Monday as well. And then we're even approaching the 70s by the time we head towards Thursday before another front works in Thursday evening. That'll cool us off just a little bit there on Friday, down to 60 degrees. We'll be right back.